<clears throat> Time to stream. We are streamlining the stream. Streamline the stream, goddammit. Do more streaming. Do better. It's streaming time. How do I sound? Streaming time. I sound good. All right, so. How do I sound? Streaming time. All right, good. Hello, everyone. It's Tom Trusty here. Welcome back to a Saturday stream, as always. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be a small stream today because I got a bit distracted and I won't be able to uh, do a long one. And I also have, I guess, worse news. Next Saturday, I'm going to be skipping, unfortunately. I have a good reason. I'm finally getting my car. Hopefully. I got a shipping to a place that, uh, then I got to make an appointment for it, get my insurance in place for it, etc., etc. So yeah, I'll be skipping next Saturday because of that. I might do a substitute Sunday stream if I don't make it Saturday, but don't hold any any promises basically. So if I don't see you the next weekend, you'll see me the weekend after. Most likely. So, anyways, as you can tell, we're gonna do a casual stream playthrough of Stella Interface. I know I'm in your face about it. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. Just because. It's easy and it's, more, it's casual, like I said. So, also my sub count's off on YouTube. I have now 478 subscribers. Sorry, I had to say that for the vertical recording to myself. And also my stream count is off. Hold on. I need to fix some shit. I need to look at things before I do the things. I'm having a great time. How about you guys? <laughs> you figure you have everything together, and then you and then you you just, you just don't. Shit happens. You, you you don't have it all all together. So, but we will fix it. Don't worry. We will have it all together soon. Otherwise, I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing all right. I had a interesting work week that turned out, yeah, save. Uh, that turned out okay. Uh, I'm making progress at my new job, so there's that. And that's fixed. I'm gonna go fix the other one. But yeah, no, I worked to, uh, worked four days last week at my new job, two days at the old job, and I got to learn how to do the trailers yesterday. So a lot more physically demanding than the the preloading portion. If you don't know, I do UPS on the side now. Um, so yeah, it was a it was a f interesting task I had to do. I was partly by myself for half of it, and then I had another guy help me out with the other half, but, yes, there's the saving again. But otherwise, it, it went well. I recovered decently. Uh, it was my legs that were mostly sore, and my back not too bad, so, all right, I fixed everything. We're all good. All good in the hood. Now, let's get to actual streaming, shall we? Yes, we shall. All right, Stella. Interface. Let's get into the face of Stella. How do I sound? Ah, oh, that's a bit loud. Hold on. I need to adjust that. Uh, well, for my ears at least. Okay, that's been adjusted. Now, what about you guys? Is it too loud? Let me know. It might be. I gotta, get a, I gotta get a wireless headset. This cord's always getting in my way. Let's... Well, not that low. Damn. Uh, let's go... Yeah, let's go there. How's that sound? That's the question of the day. 
I know. I'm still checking the stream. Sorry. But not sorry at the same time. I'm kidding. How do I sound? Sorry. But not sorry at the same time. Okay, that's that's decent. That's fine. How do I sound? Alright, let's get to the game. For those that are tuning in, this is Stellar Interface. It's a indie roguelike space shooter. So and I'm not using mouse. That's right. Go away, mouse. Go over there. Okay. I'm using controller. Wait, hold on. Uh, Sometimes my controller acts up. There we go. Now we're good. Alright, let's get into it. Let's run an endless mode, shall we? We shall. Well, let's do a blaster, machine gun blaster combo. Let's get our damage up. Let's do a can weekly volume one. Let's do some Roy Rage. Do the BDS mag volumes we'll do the fool's doll projectiles that's that's an interesting grab and i think we'll call it there i don't really want to touch any of the gold cards yet yeah i don't need to touch the gold cards yet although i do have a lot of mirrors curse but anyways that's besides the point all right oh hey kaden how's it going or your username is mtf blazed okay that's an interesting name. Welcome. Hopefully your streams are going well. Thanks for finding my stream. But yeah, I'm playing an indie game. It's called Stellar Interface. And I know this is an inside joke that no one's going to get, but yes, I took a nap. Alright? <laughs> So, what I'm doing right now is I'm playing Endless Mode. And Endless Mode, essentially, is you're taking the story portion of the game. You're taking the... Hang on. I can't hear myself. You're taking the story portion of the game, and you're basically turning it into a endless grind of wave after wave of enemies, and then eventually bosses. And then eventually, after, I think, two or three waves of bosses, it becomes double bosses. So, it does amp up over time. Otherwise, these are the software cartridges I put on. So here's the descriptions of them. If you want to read that real quick. But essentially, I beefed up my ship for the start of it. So, and then pretty much it's just how long can I last, essentially. That's what this turns into. And I just got to watch out for some software, because some it's pretty uh, gnarly. Like, you have some that are drones, some that are consumables, some that will increase your fire rate, your damage output, your speed, or everything all at once. It's a random, too, so everything's RNG. There's nothing about it that's normal. Every run's always different, basically. But it's a fun game. It's on Steam for $12.99. And then it's on uh, other consoles like the Xbox and Nintendo Switch. But it's a nice small game I like to play every now and then. I'll take a Mustang. So. Ooh, another one. No, don't take that. Myopia's not great. Well, I guess in the short term, you'll have your damage increase. But in the long term, it's got a really short range. So my long range attack I would have would be a lot lot shorter so it's not it's not really ideal i mean it could be ideal if you want to do like an insane run but we're not doing insane runs it's casual so. it's casual saturday stream but i do have other streams on here i have a vod playlist somewhere on my channel and you can look at previous streams i've done i played gunstar heroes Super Mario Advance 4, Super Bros. 3, I played... Ah, I didn't watch Java. Um, this game, I played Helldivers 2 last Saturday. 
Although, I don't know if it was the weather or or the stream itself, but I was losing frames that day. So, not fun. I don't want either of those. But yeah, so I've done those three. I've done Lethal Company. I've done Lover 64, the Steam port. And I've also played uh, Sonic Mania. So I've, I've done a variety amount of games on here. I mean, in the past, in the past, past, before I got this uh, set up, I did play Halo Master Chief Collection or the Halo games on the 360 for a stream. But not really great quality. I don't know why it keeps obsessing over me getting hot wings. I don't want hot wings. I want them as a food, but not as a perk. I don't want that either. It just makes the ship huge. Yeah, the RNG gods aren't playing favor with me today. Figures, as I do a casual run. It happens. But other than that, uh, MTF Blaze, how is your streaming going? Played any good games on there? Anything new? How goes your stream setup overall? This is one of the first bosses uh, I'm fighting in this. This is actually the third boss you fight to unlock in story mode. The Hive. I gotta find myself a health perk here. If I don't find a health perk, it's not gonna be good for long term. It's doing alright, I guess. I'm streaming from Xbox. I've done that before. Actually, yeah, it was a few years ago I tried streaming off the Xbox One. It works, but it's not perfect either. So, I definitely recommend getting a desktop PC in the future when you can. Or if you already have it, then, you know, just find the right capture card to stream uh, your footage off the Xbox. Either or. I play Fortnite because I'm a child. Got a Series S. Well, alright, Series S is pretty decent. You know, it's better than the Xbox One consoles, at least. And, okay, Fortnite, kid. Alright. Oh, okay. Go, go enjoy your Fortnite run. I mean, I don't play Fortnite, but if I had to ask, are you a zero build kind of person, or do you play the casual game of it is with the building? Don't okay mat me. I'm just asking the, the questions that need to be asked. those. That. Of course, no perks. Whatever. A little both. I suck at building part. I don't know if I would play the building part. I, if anything, if I were to ever play Fortnite, and I'm saying big if, I'd probably play the zero build. And to be frank, I heard there's a first person mode they're doing soon. So if it really was me, I'd be playing the zero build in first person, honestly. But that's just me. I'll take H bomb. Okay. All right. Calm down. Ooh, better blaster. Let me get that. There we go. Alright. Oh god. 
Let's clear this up. I hate the little mine ships that come through. They, they like to plant mines everywhere. It's not fun. Oh, I don't want the hive again. Come on. Give me a different boss. Every time I've been playing, it's been giving me, like, the final boss. Or second to final boss. Constantly. Not always the first, but definitely the second time I'll fight it while playing Endless. Alright, give me some health. Give me that health. It's going to get a little more chaotic after this. We should start to pick up with one wave having two enemy very variations or formats and then by the time we get 10 waves in from now we'll have two bosses to deal with so it's gonna pick up just gotta build my ship a little bit better as I go but again it's all RNG so I'm hoping I can build a better ship as I go what other games would you play besides Fortnite if it wasn't just Fortnite like, what, what genres are you interested in? Let's go with that. I mean, obviously I'm in, in the first person, but... Like, Seven Days to Die for Survival Crafting. Um, I mean, I can get real casual with you and I can play Animal Crossing. But I have been in Animal Crossing for a hot minute. about COD Warzone. Okay. Warzone's not a bad, not a bad pick. I mean, for me, casually playing it, if it wasn't streaming, I mean, I have, like, a few games I like to play constantly. Ooh. That's a good pick-up shield. Um, this is definitely one of those games I like to play constantly because it's easy and it's fun. But if I wasn't streaming, like, I wouldn't have much to do. With me streaming, though, I've been trying to broaden out my horizon because I want to see what other games there are out there and not just be playing the same old, same old constantly. Like I said, there's always going to be comfort games you want to play, but it doesn't hurt to take a risk every now and then. My biggest risk was playing Lethal Company, which is still a lot of fun. Haven't gone back to it since. Not because I don't want to, but down the road I'll probably get back into it. And here's the second to final boss. Gilgamesh. Very interesting boss. It likes to use medieval weaponry, but it shoots out the medieval weaponry. And then it'll disappear for like a moment. Like, it goes into hiding, and then it'll just come back. And then as its health goes down, it'll shoot out giant lasers that you gotta dodge. So it's an interesting boss. Okay, hold up. Hold up. I have the weekend off, right? I have Saturday and Sunday off. So this is my downtime. Otherwise, I'm, I'm working Monday through Friday, depending on the jobs. I mean, next week, my new job, I got five days. And then I got three days of the old job. So, I do work. All right? <laughs> to be fair, I'm only streaming Saturdays. It's not like I stream every day either. So, this is me uh, blowing off stress and steam and all that. And I'm having fun with it. Well, 
though. I definitely gotta get through this boss because I need health. He'll have a health dro uh, drop when I defeat him. Oh, there's the lasers. Come on. There we go. Good, good, I survived. Yeah, I'll take it. Last we shoot from behind. Do a better blaster. Ah, things are getting a little chaotic. Alright. I can breathe for a moment. <laughs> oh, I know she's joking. <laughs> I do miss her, honestly. But yeah, I know she's joking. It's all good fun. <laughs> Yeah, if I came on a little earlier, I probably would have played a different set of games. My intention was to probably play uh, Glover 64 a little bit more. Go through the uh, haunted... The haunted mansion level, I think is what it was called. Either that or prehistoric world. Probably play this game in between or chat. And then probably played Sonic Mania or... I do have another game I got recently I want to play through, which is uh, Inscription. It's a lot of fun. I know it was played a uh, year, year and a half ago. It's a card-based game, but it's weird. Uh, just look up Inscription on YouTube. It's, it's interesting. Oh, I'll take that. Alright, stop shooting your missiles at me. There we go. Not crazy about lasers. There we go. Got rid of the lasers. Definitely need to get a health perk here soon. I, mean, I got shield, so that's going to be helpful. Things get way too chaotic. That's a Ksumbo I picked up. So that... There's a green smog that I'll unleash. And that's from uh, my Ksumbo. So I have two Ksumbos right now on the bottom right. Shield's pretty decent. It's not shield plus plus, but it's still get the job done. Okay, so we got Holber Mallow and Gilgamesh. All right, so we gotta get through Mallow first. Mal can be a pain in the ass. It's got different attack patterns. So it'll shoot in the middle, it'll shoot left, and it'll shoot right. And as its health goes down, it'll have different variations of shooting. Like, it'll have firework, a firework kind of attack. It'll shoot right, and then it'll shoot in the middle. Or it'll have, like, a diagonal shot, shoot middle, and then shoot in, like, that half circle you're seeing. Oh, and I wasn't paying attention. I died. I had shield. I could have just put shield on. Boy, vey. That sucks, because now I got to start over less carts. Alright, so let's do it this way. I'm going to do machine gun. I'm going to do blaster. And I'm going to do a shotgun. So, I'll go over the list. So, basically, you have different weapon types. So, you have, you have a blaster's... You have machine guns, you have missiles, you have shotguns, and then you also have a laser you can pick from. So, every run's always different. Um, and you get to pick, depending on the ship, you'll get either pick one, two, or three. I picked this ship because it has it has three op, three slots. Um, the ram, the firing, and the damage is important because fire rate for speed of shots, damage, input, obvious. And RAM, in this case, usually applies more for the first, the story mode, than does for Endless. But it's still something to know about, I guess. Um, 
so yeah, I decided to pick three different weapons. Because if I pick up Blending Weekly, it'll increase the fire rate and damage input for that. But I have to search for one one weekly, volume one or whatever. It's got different volumes. I could do that. But I want to save that when I have... Same thing with that. I want to save that too. That's shield plus plus. I had the other one. Um, I do want to save those for when I have more interesting cartridges. My Tosis works if I had... Uh, a drone I can pick from right now, but I don't. Yeah, I'm just gonna run as is. So, and then obviously here's some icons and then controls. So, software grab, cartridge grab, consumable grab, weapon, and health. Ooh! We're in the. What did I pick up? Now, can we at least still gonna be helpful? We're on this stage. This is the stage that uh, Gilgamesh is based on. It's got some interesting music. I do like the soundtrack a lot. Definitely don't like dealing with the drones. Because these things be those th that particular enemy can be a pain in the ass. Alright, we got our health perk. Salty elixir. So every time I take out a ship, I get the heal. That's what that glowing effect was around my ship. Or just read the description, your enemy's tears are rejuvenating. So that's tongue-in-cheek kind of text that you get from some of these uh, software grabs. I think the farthest wave I've gone to streaming-wise has been like wave 65. Which is decent, but definitely could do better. I mean, casual play without being on stream, I've gone to like wave 100 or 200 something. But in that case, I broke something in the game, which can happen. Alright, RNG gods. I love that you're giving me cannon weekly volume, but I picked the three types to give me the blend weekly, so what the hell. Oh, that reminds me. How was work? How was your shift? I know I saw you for a moment, but I assume you were near the end of your shift, so it wasn't probably that bad. I mean, this is interesting pickup. So everything that I'm picking up increases my fire rate, which is weird. And I got one that was for damage. It was all right. Yeah, it's work. I mean, it is before the holiday, so probably was a little bit busy around that time that I came through or started pickup. That's going to be very useful when we fight the thing called Space Winner. It's a giant worm that has these mandibles that kills you in one in one shot, basically. 
Definitely a boss you really don't want to mess with. Ooh. Big exploder. Basically a bomb that sets off every time you uh, shoot it. Space bomb. What was this? Oh, did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Just a nick of time. Have you ever played Stardew Valley? No, I've not played Stardew Valley. That's why I suggested uh, casually I played Animal Crossing. I thought about Stardew Valley. I just don't know. Because it kind of reminds me of Harvest Moon more so. Because I played Harvest Moon as well. Um, but my only interaction with Harvest Moon was Friends of Mineral Town on the Game Boy Advance. So... I thought about trying it down the road. I don't know if I want to get on a console or PC. So... Why, have you played Stardew Valley? And if you have, what do you think of it? fire rate right now. Yeah, I'm pretty high right now. If I had if I had all three shot uh, machine guns, my fire rate would be through the roof, but not so much my damage, which is kind of concerning. Yeah, let me pick up the better shotgun. There we go. Which, yeah, it's pretty much the same. It's supposed to be a better shotgun. We should be coming up to our first boss. Hopefully my run can go a little bit better than last time. Oh no, not Homunculus. It's not a bad game, but if you like modding games, PC will allow you to mod it. I've been thinking about doing mods. Uh, I think I mentioned in a previous stream I want to do Curse Halo down the road. Either Halo 1 or the curse mods that I've been seeing for like Halo 3 or Reach. Because Reach, I think, just got uh, cursed mod recently. So, what kind of mods could you do for Stardew Valley? Because it's a, it's a casual game, so what could you do with it? Like, what mods are out there? This boss has a lot of eyes. It's a very eye-opening kind of boss. Yes, I just did a pun. that up. I'm not using any lasers right now. Oh, of course these guys. I did pick a board of the piercings earlier, okay. I'm not really sure, but there's mods that change graphics and gameplay, and there's, there's probably many more. So, kind of like, um, 
the mods you would see for like Minecraft, because I've seen Minecraft mods that make the game look really good, even though it's a blocky game to begin with. Like it's saying ray, ray tracing and water effects and the whole nine yards. Oh, joy, mirror, we get to fight ourselves. Except this version gets stronger as I take down its health. We'll have different attack patterns that I could potentially get, but I don't have the ability to do so. Although it's fairly easy to defeat right now because of uh, the waiver rat. It should be easy to take out. There we go. Ooh, I'll take that out. Damn lasers. Ow. And I'm gonna skip Splash this time around. Splash is an okay software, it just shoots everything in directions. Uh yeah, yeah. It shoots uh different things in different directions if I pick it up. Basically, if I hit an enemy, splash damage, essentially. I didn't feel like grabbing this time around. Alright, get off me. Alright, better shotgun. Supposedly. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Eh, hammer time's okay for consumable that I picked up as a cartridge. <clears throat> I don't know how early you came on the stream, but I did say earlier in my starting stream um, I won't be streaming next Saturday because I'm going to be getting that car finally. So, I'll be missing a weekend, unfortunately. But I'll be back the weekend after, hopefully. So, just a little less me, but hey, there's plenty of content of me on YouTube. So... And I actually did a Seven Days to Die video today. That I'll be coming out tomorrow. Hey, we picked up Joy. So I just picked up a drone that's going to heal me as I get attacked. So now I have two health perks. This is turning into a pretty good run. Or it's going to turn out to, pre turn out to be a pretty good run. Alright, so we got the hive and no space winner. Oh, it's not yet it's not ready for the two two boss phase yet. Got it. Yeah, that's what Lord of Piercings does. It makes makes easy work with the hive and space winner. Just shreds them basically. This whole colony? To shreds, they say. Ooh. That's like tofu delivery. That's Assumable I just picked up will allow me to increase my speed, essentially. Hoping to pick up a cartridge through this boss. This boss gets dropped cartridges sometimes. But not in this case. The only other thing I can think of grabbing that would make this run perfect is Lover's Cloak. A.K.A. Uh, active Camo or Invisibility. That's the only other thing I can think of picking up right now. But that's if I get the opportunity. Ooh. Finally a better machine gun. Yeah, because I'm still running basic blaster, so I just picked up a better machine gun, and I picked up a better shotgun. But depending on what you pick up, it can also slow your ship down, too. 
for some weird reason. Ooh, two joys. All right, perfect. Joy to the world. All right, I am getting sick of these satellite enemies. Come on. Pre-nuisance pre of an enemy. Do you have any tips for me starting to stream? So, my recommendation for you, obviously, you definitely want to get a desktop PC down the road. And if you do get a desktop PC, or you get a beefy laptop, it really depends which way you go about it. You definitely want to make sure it's got a good CPU, a good GPU, so your graphics card's going to matter. I definitely would try to get an NVIDIA graphics card. Definitely want a decent amount of RAM as well, and you definitely want a good amount of storage. So those four things you definitely want to have. Obviously, keyboard, mouse. Uh, if you're going to capture, you want to capture with a capture card. But if you have a graphics card, you won't have to need a, a you won't need a separate graphics card out there or a capture card out there because your graphics card will do the work for you. Really, the capture card or the capture device is more so if you stream on consoles to your pe to your computer. Um, but those are the recommendations I would do first, and then after you get that, then you gotta figure out your software. So right now I'm running OBS, which I have a second monitor, which I didn't. I don't think I told you I got two monitors now, so I'm able to observe both screens, which is a lot easier. At the beginning, I was only running with one monitor. Um, I definitely want to get a second monitor, well, a replacement second monitor, because this one, the color coding on the two is, like, off. A friend of mine said I should try to adjust the color settings on one of them, but I don't know how to do it. So I might just get the exact same monitor that I just got recently and just replace the old one. Um, but definitely want to have two set monitor. You definitely want to have headphones. A uh, decent mic, like the mic I got is from NZXT, it's okay. Um, but there's definitely better mics out there for sure, because you want to have a mic that has like a, like a pop filter kind of thing to control the uh, background noise. Um, but this one does a decent job. And then from there, figure out your style. Like, the style I have right now is just based on a video game. It's based on Gunstar Heroes. So... And there's a lot of different streams out there that'll have different effects and whatnot. I'm still learning that through Stream Elements. Like I'm, it's been t it's taken me a couple months to figure out Stream Elements overall. Like just to have this setup, it it took me a bit. So, and if you go back through my older streams, you could see the progression I've been doing. But yeah, those are the tips I I would say. Just a a decent desktop that could handle streaming and gaming. Or a decent laptop that can handle streaming and cloud gaming. And then once you have that figured out, then the software part's next. And then the other uh, accessories you're going to need. So, uh, for me, it took a while. Like, my old setup was not ideal for streaming. It did okay for recording, but it wasn't great for streaming. So you definitely want to look and do your research to make sure that what you're getting will reflect what you want to do. And I'm just doing this for fun. I'm doing this casually, you know. I'm not here to make it as a job. Um, I'm just here to have fun with it. If things happen down the road, I'm not against it, but more or less this is just a hobby. It's something for me to enjoy and have fun with. So, and that's how I look at it. So that's pretty much your approach you want to do. The only other thing I can tell you that I 
don't know how you reach your audience is basically um that's kind of a trial error with using tags and where to share your content appropriately so that's going to be a bit of a struggle as well um so i don't have all the answers for that uh, particular question for that but everything else that's what i would recommend doing and just doing research Because for me, back in the day, when I got my third laptop, I thought I had everything figured out, but I didn't. Like, for me, I didn't have the right graphics card. I had the Intel integrated graphics card, which is the worst graphics card you could have. Basically, I was playing a game that had, like, very low FPS, graphical settings and whatnot, and it looked shitty to run, but it ran at least, and it was potato mode. So, just something to keep in mind. Oh god, so I have the Russian doll and G Gilgamesh. Bob. Bob Bush. I don't even know how to say it. But I should be ripping through him with ease because of having Lord of the Piercings. Lord of the Piercings really is a, a clutch all software. This boss, these two bosses could be a, a challenge to, to fight. Because as you're exploding the Russian doll, the screen starts to shake. Oh, and there's a software grab. Ow. Got it. Ow. Ow. Alright, now recover. Oh, I missed a uh, consumable that was right here. Alright, get, get, go away. Oh god, go away. Almost dead. Like, I know for me in the future, and I've just been, oh, Jesus. i just been partly lazy about it. Um, it's resetting on my Elgato. So I have an Elgato capture card. It's the HD60X. It's, it was the most uh, recent graphics card, or not graphics card, uh, capture card from Elgato, but they just came out with something new that's for 4K. Um, for me, I like to stream at 1080p 60. I don't really need to do 4K. Is 4K nice? Yeah, it's nice, but it's taxing on your computer uh, just to do it, and you also need to have a really good internet to do that as well. So, sticking it at like a 1080p 60 FPS at most is pretty good. If you do like 1080p 30, that's fine too. Um, but yeah, you definitely want to know your settings as well. Like know know what your computer can do for you, and not make it overwork itself to the point where it's not great for streaming or recording. All right, so you don't so you've seen Homunculus. Now we're gonna see Space Winner. That thing. Oh, I took it out with ease because of Lord of the Piercings. If I didn't have Lord of the Piercings, I would not be taking it out. I don't like the homunculus because it's got the hands. The hand, if the hand grabs you, it, it takes you to the center. Which you don't want to do because that makes you lose health. Ooh, a better machine gun. That's... I... Th oh, okay, graphic settings. What? The game's doing something silly. I thought I grabbed it on the top. Alright, whatever. I'm gonna have to grab a different blaster. Or just keep the machine guns. It doesn't matter now. Because I haven't been able to pick up any one, one weekly software to begin with. So, whatever. Ooh, shield. I'll take that cartridge. Thank you very much. I wish it was a software grab, but I'll take the cartridge for a future run. Now Blend Weekly shows up. You piece of shit. Now I gotta find me find myself a blaster. RNG gods be damned.
if you have any other questions, just don't hesitate to ask. I'll try to answer as best I can. Ow. I guess I could do a missile. I don't want to, because I have nothing for it. Nah, don't get the missile. I'd rather wait for a blaster. I'm not optimized for any of the missile loadouts to begin with. Wait, no, didn't I pick up one? No, I picked up laser. It was the previous run I had a missile pick up. That's what it was. Alright. Time to heal up. So that's done. Now I think the next wave should be a boss wave, I think. Here we go. Double Gil Gilgamesh. Lovely. I actually thought two of them uh, just casually uh, yesterday. I'm going to focus on one because if I attack both, it just makes the run worse. The problem is I'm hoping I'm tagging the same one. Because with them teleporting like that, I can't tell. Ow. This is why I wish I had active camo right now. Because this can get ugly quick. I mean, yes, I have two drones, but I gotta dodge shit like crazy. That's not good. Fuck! I'm not used to fighting two Gilg uh, Gilgameshes. I'm used to fighting doubles and everything else but these two. I must be close with one of them considering how much health was left. Alright. Let's do a story run mode. Because I don't think I've done story run... Yeah, I've not done a story run mode. Alright, so this is story mode. So basically story mode, you're, you're kind of choosing your own adventure. But in RNG style. So keep that in mind. I mean, I can still pick my cartridges. Eh. Prove recon. Yeah, I need, definitely need to prove recon. I don't want that. I could do a, a buggy energy router. So basically, I have a temporary shield at some point. Yeah, I'm fine with that. All right. Now, in story mode, you do get missions. So first mission, don't get damaged at one deep space level. Mission two, don't get damaged in two Jupiter levels. And the third mission, destroy 28 cannon turns. That's not too hard. And this is the map screen, so we get to go through different quote unquote galaxies. Pretty straightforward. I'm weak right now, but there's a bar to the top right that shows you you making progression through the stage. And once the stage is over, you get to pick your software upgrades. That's where the RNG, uh, the roguelike comes in because it gives you three options to pick from. And then depending on what you pick, it will lead you down a certain path. But it's still all RNG at the same time. So it's pretty cool. Same bosses. So any bosses we've seen already 
in the endless run we'll see here. Now we get Nostrum Donna. Nostrum. I think that's what it's called. Uh, will allow me to see the whole map, so I get to see it fully ahead of time, like what I'll be fighting. So on the map, you can have. Okay, here we go. The first option. So that's a damage increase. That's a health increase, and that's a damage increase if I had a variety of weapon loadout. I'm just going to go with the damage increase. And then see the map opens up. So there's a threat level, there's a lost lord, factory, and merchant percentages. The threat level just tells you how high the threat is going to be. There's no percentage for lost lord, so we're not going to run into any of the bosses. Factory was basically if you went through it, you have to defeat a set amount of, of the same ship. Once you beat it, you unlock that ship to use in future runs. But since I have all the ships unlocked, it just gives me software grab of the those intro cards that I usually pick through. And then Merchant, which is something you definitely want to get because it'll upgrade your weaponry, your RAM, and all that other stuff. It allows you to re-roll, basically, your, your starting choice. Speaking of Merchants, there we go. So this is a Merchant. Basically, I get to re-roll my weapon choice, which shouldn't be much. Yeah, like, there's there's these that are available, but... And then there's lock. But I don't have enough RAM, essentially. So I can only I can only upgrade... Two times. But every time you go to Merchant, you get more RAM. So in this... Uh, merchant, I picked up, I think, additional four RAM. So that's why RAM is important in the story mode, but not so much in endless mode. And if I have any other cartridges I want to add on, I can, I can just add on the cartridges. So... But I don't need to. So we defeated 6 out of 28 turrets. We still got to get through a deep space level that's not damaged in Jupiter. So Jupiter is that line shape. So factory is behind us. Jupiter's in front of us. It's done in layers. But in like a circular layer. So you have factory behind me. Jupiter in front of me. Then deep space. Then the hive. And then the asteroid field. And then etc. So that's how that map background screen works. Now, this is definitely not going to be a merchant because the percentage is too low. That could be a boss level because of how high the percentage is for that. That's definitely a boss. That's not so much. But this, this, so that takes me to the hive, the hive, deep space. I think that's still, so Factory is its own thing, and then there's actually a factory theme. So, I'm still thinking I'm going to be doing the factory theme stage. Yeah. I know it's a little confusing trying to explain all that, but... That's, that's, that's story mode for Endless, uh, for Stellar Interface. Or at least is how I understood it. So, Gonzalez's speed allows me to increase my speed. That just optimizes if I had a missile loadout. I forget what Chronos Watch does. There's a, there's this version and there's a broken one. Again, everything is tongue-in-cheek with these software grabs in terms of language. Um, but we're going to go with Gonzalez's speed. So, okay. So, we have deep space, deep space... And then more deep space. Where the hell's Jupiter? Well, let's go for the deep space stage. Try not to get damaged in this stage. That was mission one. Should be doable. 
Now the point of completing these missions, the, the point of completing these missions, is that at the end of the story run you'll unlock uh, cartridges that you can use later on for future runs. So all those cartridges you see in a line, basically if I complete the story mode with all three missions, I'll get three more cartridges that I can add to that pile. But as long as I don't get damaged here. I should be able to complete the first mission. Nope, I failed it. I tried. I mean, I still have a couple opportunities for deep space, but yeah, I messed that up. Okay, so this helps me if I'm really damaged so I can move faster. This is a faster uh, fire rate. I may just go for more speed, honestly. I like speed. Okay, the map is taking me out pretty far. Let's scale back. That might still be deep space. It is. Alright, cool. A little harder. Trying not to get damaged. Okay. Now I just gotta concentrate if I can. Oh, cool. That's not helpful at all. So. I don't know if you noticed, there's faster versions of these enemies, and then there's slow versions. The faster versions are called the Lost Variants. It's just, you know, to make the enemies harder, faster, or stronger. Oh, come on. I got through it somehow. Hey, I did it. Cool, I got the mission done. Alright, so Flea Market Alpha 1's good because I can increase my damage for the price of health. I got plenty of health. I mean, health is important, but also not important. It's weird how that works in this game. And this is just a drone which shoots missiles. And this is just a software grab that as you fire, you have a gassy trail, which I don't want to do. So let's go with the extra damage. Okay, so we got mission one done. We're a third of the way through for mission two. Or mission three. I don't know how I'm going to get mission two done if I don't have any access to Jupiter, which is weird. So, I'm not going to do that boss. Because that's definitely a boss stage. I need to find another merchant. This might be a merchant. It's not, it's the hive. Ow, by the way. God damn these lasers. More lasers, by the way. Alright, dodge all the lasers. Just gotta try to survive. Yeah, I need more damage. I thought doing that would give me a little bit more, but it's not enough against the lost variants. And as I progress through story mode too, even the slower slower enemies, there's gonna be more health to them. So they're not going to be always easy to take out right away. So there is a gradual progression in terms of difficulty and health for these enemies. Ow. Alright, what do you got? See, Cronian... Ooh, wait. 
Chromium is good. So the more free RAM you have, the more powerful you become. Now, this I've noticed. So when I a while ago when I was trying, hang on, let me take a sip. A while ago when I was doing this on YouTube, I came across two cartridges or two software grabs that you want to grab because they'll exponentially increase your potential in this game. Chromium you want because the more free RAM you have, the more powerful you become. And there's something called FPGA. I have that cartridge right now. So I have those two in unison because the more RAM I use, the, the more free RAM I have, the more powerful you become. FPGA basically is tied to your consumables. The more consumables you use, the more RAM you'll grab. You see how that's going to work out? It's quite interesting. So I'm going to grab that. If I get a merchant, we'll run the FPGA uh, cartridge. Perfect. Here we go. Let me upgrade my last blaster for now, because changing out anything. Uh, yeah, we'll go full machine gun. FPGA upgrade. Use a good super that gives you more RAM. Now you see, you see what I mean by having these two? So I'm going to enable that, and we'll go from there. Okay, so that's a boss. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's go for this stage. Now, in theory, as like I said, if I use more RAM, I should start to get stronger. I just gotta pick, I just gotta, the only other thing I need to grab now, in terms of software, is something that'll allow me to earn more consumables as I stay healthy and attack more ships, or more stuff. So as we go in the story, I should start to get, exponentially get stronger, at some point. Now, I really don't want to die at all or end this run because I really want to use both of these in conjunction. Because I figured this out and I never got, I never had a chance to really reproduce it. Until now. So this should be interesting. I'm casually having fun, by the way. Don't, don't get me wrong, I'm still having a lot of fun. This enemy formation is uh, quite challenging if the ships can turn around and just directly fire at you. Especially because sometimes these guys can have shotguns. And they've had a, a fair amount of runs on me. Story mode and endless. Because it's just out of nowhere shotgun blast to the face. It's not fun. Now I gotta do the snake formation. There we go. Made it. Ah, here we go. Nostradamus. The future is no longer a mystery. Now you know what comes next. So if I pick this, my whole map becomes available. I get to see everything in story mode. So I get to know... What are boss levels? What are regular levels? What are merchants? And what are factories? Well, there's typically one factory. So, and I get to know the Lord, the Lost Lord, the main, the main antagonist for this story run. It changes, I think. I think it's always mirrored at the end, anyways. But, anyways, let me just pick this, and you'll see. So this is what the map looks like now. So that's a boss stage. That's a boss stage. And that's a boss stage. This is just regular levels. And then that's a merchant. So right now in the field we have four bosses I could go after. Four regular levels and a merchant. But nothing with Jupiter. That's interesting. Which means I can't complete mission two. I got mission one and three done. So let's go to the factory because I need more RAM. If I get more RAM I should get stronger. That's that's the running theory. 
Um, if I keep everything the same, I do want to upgrade. I do need a stronger machine gun at this point. Um, what else can I use to help me out? Eh, nothing really. Yeah, let's have some shield. I have a feeling things are get more difficult as I go. Okay, so there's the four bosses, and we have five stages to go to. So let's backtrack. I got shield now. Use Dutch oven so I can increase my RAM. I'm going to keep shield in the back pocket just in case things start to go south. But basically now with Nostradamus, I can turn this into a boss... A boss rush. Or, uh, yeah, boss rush. So, I can complete all the stages, get all the merchants done, and then get the factory level done. And then the rest of the run, I can just turn into a, a boss rush, which is kind of fun. It's, it's one way to go about it. Now, see, my RAM is up to 70, so I've increased my RAM. But in doing so, I should start to increase my damage too, which I think is what's happening. So we're on the up. I just gotta get. I just gotta find something that'll increase my fire rate now, which I've definitely skipped already. See my health, and we're gonna keep shield on hand. I'm good. Okay. No, I don't want to decrease my speed. You know, I did get an increased speed. Here we go. That this is an increased fire rate, because that's just more increased damage. So let's get the fire rate up. All right. So we still got four bosses. So let's go through another stage. Um. A little less level. I'm looking at the level threat too, by the way. Because I do have to keep that in mind. The level threat also gives me an indication of how, how I'm doing. So let's go for this one. Yeah. The only thing, I, like I said earlier, I need to get a software that will increase my my rate of grabbing uh, consumables, because if I don't have that, then the other two are almost useless. I think it's still doable. I just gotta survive. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on now. I don't feel comfortable with this thing, and then the ship's constantly... Sh yeah, because another one just popped up. Come on! Don't have a health perk right now. I mean, I did pick up another shield, which is good. We'll see how the rest of this linear run goes for this stage. Oh, I forgot I had the buggy shield on, too. Ah, shit. Ah, shit, dude. Watch out. Damn it. Just gotta get through this wave fast.
Come on. Why is it always the lasers that have higher health? Damn it! Well, at least I got the rewards. Hopefully the rewards are worth it. Fuck. Okay. Not horrible. Flea Market Alpha 4 is decent. Because that's increased fire rate for the price of health. So, and that's usually a, a, a really decent increase in fire rate. And mixed codal is okay too. I think that just stops uh, enemies from attacking. So, damn. I was kind of hoping I could do the boss rush. But, it is what it is. Alright. I think I'm going to call it here. This was a nice casual run. Casual stream. I wanted to keep it short. We are a little over an hour right now. So, um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching MTF Blaze. Hope to see you again in the future. Good luck to your future streams. I'll try to check them out when I can. Um, yeah. So, I again, I'll reiterate. I'm not going to be here next Saturday. So, you won't see me until two Saturdays from now. In the meantime, check out my VOD playlist down below. I have done a fair amount of streams i've actually done this is my fifth saturday in a row so do check out my streams below other than that i am also on youtube like i said i do have my seven days to die video content there right now i'm currently doing i have other things on there as well monstrum i have a couple playlists you can check out and i'm on tiktok you know i do tiktok content although i've done tick i've done a little bit of tiktok content recently if you don't see it there, it's also on a YouTube short format too. So there's there's things out there you can find me at and watch what I've done. But otherwise, that's it for this stream. Tom Trasty is going to be uh, signing out for now. And unless something comes up, I try I want to try to stick to my schedule. But I'll see you two Saturdays from now. So bye bye. <laughs>